Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest likewise and direct this manifestation to AMLA that I understand that there are cases already filed against the incorporators of Brick Hearts. Brick Hearts, which I understand is a subsidiary of Sean Wei. And Sean Wei being the company which is being served or serving Oro One and Sanja still. Considering the corporate relationship of Brick Hearts, Sean Wei, Oro One, and Sanja Steel. Are we not considering any possibility of violation of AMLA having the cases filed already involving Brick Hearts as the predicate crime? Uh, Your Honor, since uh, the name of that uh, corporation came up during the investigation of this committee and in news accounts, Your Honor, we have started our investigation on Brick Hearts, Your Honor. May we ask Paok, considering the presentation of DS JJ Suarez earlier that there was a kidnapping discovered in Brick Hearts, meron po ba tayong nakafile na kaso against the incorporators of Brick Hearts? Uh, none to our knowledge, Madam Chair. We've heard of the kidnapping in relation to Shuangma technology and in relation to Brick Hearts. But then again, uh, I would direct the said question to the Philippine National Police because the said reports were, uh, were directed to them during that time of the investigation, Madam Chair, not to the Commission. Mr. Chair, can we hear from the PNP? If we have the PNP here? There is a kidnapping incident in Brick Hearts. This one involves a Filipina, a Filipina. So may we know if a case was filed concerning this kidnapping incident? Mr. Chair, this is the corporation layering that we have been explaining since day one of our investigation. As a matter of fact, even prior to the creation of Quadcom, we have observed already the creation of so many corporations, however, with interlocking directors that adds to challenges on the part of the government, including the agencies, the PAOC, the PNP, and the AMLA, in identifying the Chinese personalities to be held responsible by the various illegal activities hiding under the guise of Pogo establishment or even a service, a customer service provider. Do we have PNP here? Yes, Madam Chair, from the IDM, Colonel Landicho, sir, uh, ma'am. Our uh, question will... to PNP is whether a case was filed concerning the kidnapping incident involving Brick Hearts. We will uh, check on that, ma'am. I hope that uh, the PAOC will be coordinating closely with AMLA and with the PNP because I understand that this is a very complex illegal activity involving so many companies, so many corporations, so many foreign nationals that gives challenges to us on identifying who is he and who needs to be charged in court. Uh, Madam Chair, rest assured I will bring this matter to, uh, to our Undersecretary and to our uh, Chairman. And uh, I would, uh, we would do our best to coordinate with the said agencies in relation to Brick Hearts and Shuangma because Brick Hearts has figured in so many POGO investigations already, Madam Chair. I lament, Mr. Chair, that while we have unfolded already the personality of Cassie Ong, of Alice Goo, 
of Tony Young and even she in the documentary, I understand that there are still several corporations hiding under the guise of being a Filipino corporation, also hiding under the guise of being a BPO or ser customer service provider. I hope we can look into all of this, especially those companies which were mentioned in the matrix at the early part of our hearing, Mr. Chair.